I might be here for, I don't know, might be my last hunt or I might get a couple more in before I go back to work, but I got up in this real big gully, super early, and I got a buck, and I think he's got does, like there's a lot of does on this bench, but he doesn't seem to be chasing them out, so I'm thinking he's got more in there, but I can hear him on the left side of this sort of a knob and then I can hear does probably 200 meters around to the right so I don't know, hopefully you'll croak in and I'll get it on video but he sounds all right which is strange for this country because normally it's normally they all leave here before the rut just had a little croak there you see. Sounds pretty old. I'm gonna try. I don't know if he's got those or not, but I'm gonna try and get up in here and below him and try and get a look at him and see if he's any good. I haven't shot a good buck yet this year. I've been trying. Just can't get any to come into the row. Had one come in. Two weeks ago, I shot him, but I couldn't find him. I hear him a bit far back. But I don't know if he's raking a tree or if they're fighting. Raking a tree, I think. But yeah, hopefully I can get in here and hopefully he's a half decent buck and I can get him down on the ground. See how we go. actually a proper cracker. <laughs> Holy shit. He's huge. What the fuck? He's coming straight to me. size of him. This buck just winded me and he's ran straight up and around this hill and he's croaking on top of it again.
pissed off. He did not like that rattle at all. Uh, either tells me I'm a bad rattler or yeah, I don't know. Never had anything like that, never seen him do that. As soon as I freaking started rattling, he looked straight at like the direction I was and I seen his antlers move but I thought he was coming but he was running away. Got no idea what that's about, whether he just yeah, I don't know, wanted to get his does out of there or something, I don't know. I just needed him to come over that little bit of a rise so I could have a shot, but he didn't have a bar of it, so I'll come up here and spend a bit of time in the next week or so whilst I'm off work and try and get that far because it's a pretty bloody good deer, so yeah, I'll poke up along here and get right on the top and then drop down in a real big gully on that other side, see how we go over there.
fucking red deer. Holy shit. I have never, ever seen a red deer here. What the fuck? Mmm. Oh, I pumped him. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's video on too. Oh, I cannot believe that. I just shot me first ever red deer in country I've never seen reds in before. Oh, holy shit. Life can't get any better right now. What the actual hell? He just got back up. He's pretty crook, but He's down. Oh. Holy hell. That is the last thing I was expecting to see. The last thing. He's only a spike, but I do not give a shit. First one I've ever, ever seen in this country. And stuffed if I know where he come from. There was reds, I don't know, 10 k's from here probably 15 years ago. And that's the last I ever heard of him, but I can't believe that, eh? I was rattling for a fallow. There was a bloody, there's a scrape under that tree and I just set up here. I'm still shaking. And I seen something come through here. And I thought it was a roo to start with and then I got my binos up. Seen it was a deer and just thought it was a fallow cause never seen reds in here before. Never heard one roaring, never. And get my binos up and fucking red deer. And he come in. He come in on a string. As soon as I started those hind pulls, he come in. But I shot him, I don't know. What is he? He'd be 20, probably, from where I am. And you can, I don't know if you can see, but he's fucking 40 yards down there. Not even 40, 30. That is the coolest shit of my life. That's my biggest bow hunting accomplishment ever. And I can't believe it. Here's me arrow. That Cayuga pilot cut, the Nexus Infinity shaft, absolutely coated, and then the red's just there. So, go and have a look at him, but that put him down. He's only 30 yards from here, so yeah, deadly combo. Right, oh, here he is. It's only a spike, but certainly not complaining. I had a feeling that 
you had another point on there, but you may not have. But whether it broke off the first time it fell over, I'm not sure. But that's the exit there, and it went in the front of his chest here. But they are massive, eh? They're a big animal. I can't believe it, like. They're twice the size of fallow. That's my biggest hunting accomplishment ever. Been going hunting for a fair few years and to get this, it's um, bloody amazing. So I'm super stoked. I'm gonna take all the meat I can off this bloke and yeah, get those big back straps and the tenderloins and as much as I can and the utes way up the top of that so we'll see how I go but yeah that's amazing I can't believe that's just happened eh sweet as righto here he is my first ever red stag with a bow my first ever red stag ever ever shot one but I'm super happy with this bloke like I know he's not a giant and he's only young and whatever, but never seen reds in this country before and to get it done the way I did, I just, yeah, can't describe how happy I am. So I'll get a few pictures with this bloke and I'll get all his meat, I'll get everything and I'll get it out of here and get it cooling off, but yeah. The size of these animals is insane, like he's only a little one, like he's only young, but yeah, it's just, it's awesome, I can't describe it. I don't know if I've called that buck in. 
I thought he was a bit further than what he was, but he must have only been 20, and I put me 20 pin a bit high, so. Yeah, thought he was 30, but hit him high. I'd say he'd die, but I can't find him there anywhere, so. Yeah, I might come back and look this afternoon, but I can't find him there anyway. He wasn't a bad buck, like, he was uneven and shit, but one side was pretty good, he was all curled in. So I would have been happy enough with him, but yeah, hit him a bit high. Just got back to the ute. Got a mole pig right there. Another pig over there. Good boy in this mob. Bigger pigs to the left, I'm guessing it's a sour. And there's a sucker in between, but getting closer in here, we got a heap of pigs on both boards. Got a red down there. He's rolling.
Oh my fucking god! Alright, here's where this bloke was battered. I think it was just here, I think. I shot him from that bush up there. He was battered here. And if you can see that, that's probably 20 meters. Now he's come. And for my second ever red, let alone a red deer, I think this is one in a lifetime. They don't get much better than this. Free range red deer in this country that I'm in. They don't get much better than that, eh? My second ever red deer and it's a six by six. How cool is that? I cannot believe it. They're such a big animal, like that one I shot two days ago was massive and this thing is twice it, eh? There's that exit. I just pulled me brought it out of there. Somewhere in there. But it went in there and that's the exit. And then went in on this side and that leg there is fully broken. So shattered that leg, but it's such a big animal. That entry there, that's a big cut, man. But it's gone in just there. That leg is completely snapped. That's that Cayuga pilot cut. And he was never going far with that. Beautiful. Here's a bit better look at this blow. Such a cool animal. A little point in there. Up into his tops. That's a dream come true. I cannot believe it. I'm super stoked with that. I thought it was my big boy. I seen over on this ridge the first weekend I come up here. But it's not. I hit that buck three days ago. I hit him high. He was over here on this ridge. I rattled him in. And I hit him high. So hopefully. He's like good on one side and shit on the other, but hopefully I can get him for a stalk. I got toes up in here, but if they piss off, then I can sneak along here and I got a good stalk up in there. So hopefully this wind holds out and I can get in on him. These toes are going across now, so. That'll be good. That'll give me a chance to get over there. It might have smelt me. Surely not. The wind might have sucked up. But I hope not. This is where that big buck I just videoed through the binos was rutting in this gully about two weeks ago and now he's pissed off about a K over that hill. But this is where he was holding his does. Down here on this down. None of them are big buck. The owner wants me to shoot everything. Every pig I see, so. 
shot a few reds off here, so I'm not too bothered. So I've wasted an arrow on a little piece. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Might shoot that middle one. Hit it a little bit back, but should die, hopefully. Yeah, it's got some claret coming out of it. Gonna die. I definitely hit it back, but that pilot cut saved me, I think, with those bleeders. There it is there, dead there. I don't know if that pig took a step when I shot or whether I just pulled it a little bit but it'll die right there so yeah doing good that pilot cut definitely saved my ass on that like if I didn't have that big broadhead I'll give you a look I've got another one sitting in the quiver if I didn't have those bleeders with that big single bevel I wouldn't have got that pig then, but doesn't matter now I got him, so I well, got it. I don't know whether it's a boar or a sow, but doesn't really matter. Owner wants me to take a few out, so yeah, go and try and find the arrow and then I'll go show you it. maybe a bit of blood on it. Just picked my arrow up from there, that's where they were standing. Shot from that big tree over there. And I don't know if you can see that, but the pig's gone probably 15 metres. I definitely hit it back, but yeah, I won't show you too much. YouTube doesn't like the old blood, so but yeah, that's it right there. Alrighty, that's a wrap for the rut for me. I'm back off to work tomorrow, so that'll be the last crack I get at them. I'll be sort of back into me fishing and stuff. A bit now chasing a few big fish in the rivers but yeah, I had six weeks at the deer and I didn't end up getting many but I had a big bushfire go through my best block just before the rut so that sort of put a dampener on that and yeah started hunting a bit of new country and learning a bit of new country so yeah definitely had a good time, ended up with a few bucks on the ground, but got those two red stags, which, yeah, that's, I couldn't ask for anything more really, like, that makes up for not getting any big fallow, but still would have liked a decent fallow buck, but not to be. I might come in and stalk them later on in the year when they come back into this block through the winter they come back in here out of next door where all the big boys are at the moment and um yeah i might come back in here and try and stalk them but yeah i certainly can't complain with how everything has gone the past sort of week managed to get two bucks fighting with a good mate and those two red stags off this block so Certainly can't complain, but yeah, it's been pretty good and got some good footage, so yeah, it's been good. But um, I'll leave a discount code in the description again for this camo, but yeah, save 15% off and it's pretty good stuff, so keeps you warm and in the cold. And then this shirt is bloody good in the heat, so yeah, get amongst it.